Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's ceremony during which USS Enterprise will begin its inactivation. Many of these folks who uh, are here today and who served on this last deployment served before, so they're returning in a way home to the uh, Enterprise. At the time of its construction, there was considerable trepidation about the potential success of the design to the point that five sister ships uh, were canceled. Enterprise largely became an experiment, designed to last about 25 years uh, with no intention of keeping it operational even that long. Yet here we are, 51 years later, celebrating the, astonishment, the astonishing successes and accomplishments of this engineering marvel that has roamed the seas for more than the half the history of naval aviation. Should she go one year longer, I would tell you, there's every likelihood, based on where we are on bringing lasers to sea, she would be using laser technology. She'd be employing lasers. By cracky, the Enterprise would be shooting photon torpedoes. <laughs> it's possible. You never know. And I'd like to present for you a video message from the Honorable Ray Mabus. Now there's nothing I can do about this retirement and about the name Enterprise leaving the fleet today. But there is something I can do to keep the name in the fleet. So I'm happy to announce the next nuclear aircraft carrier, CVN-80, will be named USS Enterprise. God bless our Navy and all who have served on Enterprise in her amazing 51 years of unmatched service to our nation. Thank you all. Executive officer, prepare the ship for inactivation. Aye, aye, Captain. Enterprise, disembark the ship. Thank you.